Okay, okay. It's Story View Tuesday. Roll the intro. Check it out guys. It's a Rockwell quarter cable jigsaw. I couldn't even really tell you what year this is. It's very old, I know that, because I had this since I was a kid. It was given to me by my grandpa. We had a family friend that actually worked for Rockwell and I think he gave some family members some tools, so I ended up with this. And I just plugged this in. I haven't actually used it in like two or three years. So let's see what it sounds like, ready? is it. It just has one speed. Very simple. This does do bevel cuts. That's kind of cool. Uh, that's how it works for replacing the blade. You gotta screw it in. So today guys, I'm really excited. I have a brand new jigsaw by Rigid. Let me show you. And here is today's new tool for Tool Review Tuesday. I'm gonna show you. This is the Rigid jigsaw. First thing to say, it's brushless. Second thing, 18 volt cordless, has a rigid octane, has a Bluetooth capable battery, which is pretty cool. In a separate upcoming video, I'm gonna show you how the Bluetooth battery works. So there's many features of this, so let's get into it. I'll give you a close up so we can check it out and I'll show you how it works. So this one has a variable speed trigger, so you can see you can go very really slow, medium, fast, fastest. Or if you don't want to use a variable speed trigger, you can, I have that dialed at five, but you can put it down to like three, or you can put it down to one, or right there, and just switch it right to off if you'd like. And then right here, check this feature, I'll show you how this works in just a little bit. It says line start. So the cool thing about line start is once you pull the trigger, it starts slow, and then once you start getting into the material, then it speeds up. So that just helps you get going nice and neat right from the start. So I do wanna mention, if you see the link to this down below, the battery is not included. So the battery I'm using is the Rigid Octane. This is a six, where does it say? Six amp hour battery. You can use any of the 18 volt batteries in this. I just think this is probably your best choice right here. So if you want to see more about this, I'll put a link to it below. So then moving down here, the next feature that has adjustable orbital action. So you can go from zero, one, two, to three. So on the three setting, it orbits, which gives you a faster cutting, but it's not going to be quite as neat. And I'll show you a little difference between like the three and the one in just a minute. So three is going to be the fastest and like the roughest cut. Zero will be the slowest, but the neatest. And there is definitely a difference. You'll see the way that that works. So it depends on if you're cutting some fine wood, you go with zero, or just doing some rough cutting, something's gonna get covered up anyways, or something you're not particularly concerned about, number three is your good choice for that. So then when you move up here, it has an unlock. So if you pull the trigger and push that, it'll stay cutting if you'd like. And then when it comes to installing the blade, you just push this right here across. So it's a toolless blade change, which is really nice. And then as far as I know, you can use the different types of blades in here, the U style and the T style. And then let's get a look down here. So if you wanna do some bevel cuts, here's a lever that you push right here. Let's get a close up of that. So that lever gets pushed to the side there and then you can do your bevel cuts. So this will stop at 45. And they say if you want to do something in between, then they recommend you get a protractor out. And then it has that light right there that shines on your work. And it also has a blower. So the blower tends to work 
kind of like right inside that area right there. So it definitely does a good job of keeping that clear. If you want to check the reviews on the link right here, you'll see it has an amazing like 4.7 star review on the Home Depot website, which is amazing with a lot of people reviewing it. So last night I was trying this out for the first time and it definitely, the blower keeps some of the sawdust out, but it does leave some sawdust around on like the plywood I was cutting. So I didn't try this, this comes with it. This is a vacuum attachment. So that just clips into the back right there. And I think it was just last week on my channel that I reviewed the rigid 18 volt wet dry vac right here. This is a nine gallon. So. I have this hose right here. This isn't the standard hose that comes with it. This is the car accessory kit that you can get that has all the different nozzles with this upgraded hose. So I find that this hose right here seems to work the best to follow the jigsaw when I'm cutting. So we'll see how that goes in a minute. So I wanna show you the advantage here of this rigid tool, the Octane version with advanced power. It says right here, the Octane tool utilizes a high performance brushless motor delivering up to 45% faster cutting over the previous version. And then it has state-of-the-art electronics, which are built to handle maximum power from the Octane batteries. And the electronics are also designed to deliver the maximum power to the Octane tools. You know, this looks pretty simple, but there's really quite a few features that are built into it. So we're gonna test this out right now on this OSB at 7 16 So here's what I'm gonna do is just draw a straight line and try to follow it. And I'm gonna select the orbital action to one. And then I'm not gonna hook up the vacuum to it this time. All right, <laughs> I missed my line a little bit. All right, let's try this again. Okay, turn the vacuum on. So I noticed when the vacuum hooked up, it seemed like the blower was pushing it forward and this was pulling it back. So it did have a little more busy sawdust right in front of my cut. All right, I know they're not gonna recommend this, but let's try, I might actually like having the blower part hooked up to it so I can really get the dust out of my way. I definitely like that setup, but I feel like I need to have like a breather mask on because it's putting a lot more dust in the air and I can see it on my camera lens, some dust from that. So it might not be the most practical, but it really works the best to clear the sawdust out of your line. Okay, so right now I have a piece of finished birch plywood. It's three quarters of an inch thick. So let's see how this cuts. For this cut right here, I want to have it on zero so we can see how clean of a cut we can do because this is like the most expensive plywood that I've ever purchased. And now I'm going to hook, instead of blowing it, I'm going to actually draw the dust back the way that this is intended. So here's the piece. I was really impressed with the cut right there. I was able to stay on that line pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty straight. 
so this idea that I have right now is to test out on a treated 2x6. I'm switching the orbital action to 3, that's the highest setting, so it's the fastest cutting. So let's say I'm in a pinch and I need to cut this 2x6, I'm at a job site, I have no other tools, this is the only thing with me. So let's see how it cuts a treated 2x6, speed 5 up here, let's go. Okay, it's starting to get dark, so the last thing I'm gonna do is a bevel cut. So you just push that lever to the side. There we go, 45 degree bevel cut. And the one thing I like for the most part is when you set this down on top of the battery, it will stay just like that. If you're slightly downhill, if I turn it this way, the grade is going this way, then see it wants to go forward. But for the most part, I like being able to just set it down when you're working real quick like that, go do some other work, and come in back and grab it, not to worry about the blade because it's standing up like that. That's just really handy. All right, that was a little tricky. <laughs> I just need to work on my first inch of start. Otherwise, the rest of it, I ended up starting to get the feel for it. All right, so here's a feature I wanna show you. I brought in some light, and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this. Right here is built in, right there, if you can see that. So when you grip this, let me show you what happens. It kinda of looks like a safety switch of some sort. Let me turn that off. So when you, when you grip that and you push with your hand, it turns that light on right there. At first I thought that switch right there when you grip it, that was to release the trigger, but that actually just turns that light on for about 10 seconds or so. And I definitely think that this light works really well. All right guys, it's starting to get dark out, so it's gonna wrap it up for my review of the rigid brushless cordless 18 volt octane jigsaw. I think I said everything that I want to say there. So my goal of this video is to help you guys decide whether or not this is the right tool for you. So I'm hoping that I put it through all the paces and all the tests. So if I left out something you wanna know about this tool right here, please put your question down below. I'll be happy to reply to it. So I'm hoping that you find this video review interesting and informative. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.